feeding the sheep at the minute. Yeah, so he's now um, going to start feeding the snacker. We're feeding you rolls. And uh, yeah, they're eighteen percent protein. You rolls, so we're it's so wet the ground. Um, we are feeding them on the ground, but because uh, they're rolls and they're big, the sheep can pick them up easy. If it ever dries up, we'll shut the sheep in this field that's 16 acres and as i say it's a herbal lay and the ewes and lambs are in there there's loads of grass there so uh, they will be shut in there and down at the bottom of this field is where the sewage pipe went a couple of years ago and uh, you can still see the damage they've caused to the soil structure see the line of it there and uh, right in the middle of the screen now at the top is the gate and it goes out of there and then that's our neighbour's field across to the right and you can see uh, there where it uh, went across that field and uh, first of all they wanted to come across that field there to the left of the road going up which is our field and uh, luckily they decided they were going to come across from the other side so and then if I look back behind, you can see in a that's a grass field there in front. That's a permanent pasture, and that one the sewage pipe went across there. There's still a bit of the fence there now. We've got to pick that up. Um, it's open both ends, so the sheep can go in there. But uh, yeah, you can see the damage there. It's all been reseeded. There is grass there. It's just uh, not looking very good. So that's uh, yeah, damaged soil structure. There's a few ewes over in this field that haven't come up to the other field for feed, so he's just feeding them there. And uh, the field above the one we're flying over now, that one's herbal lay as well and uh, that one's about 14 acres and we're going to graze that with sheep when we lamb the next group so they're due to start lambing on the 8th of march and uh, they'll all go in there when they lamb and eat that one just flying over the field again where we got the sheep feeding and uh, that is another field of winter barley there and out over that one is one of the fields I want to plough for spring barley. It's where we were spreading the muck the other day. And as you can see, that is very wet. So, uh, yeah, it's all been sprayed off. There's a little bit of strip there missed. But, um, yeah, it's all sprayed off, but uh, so it's all right it's just we've got to wait now until it dries up but you see how wet it is let's stand in water there and this is a dry farm we're sort of on top of a hill so uh, yeah very wet i think it will need to dry up a bit before we attempt to play this hi everyone it's got the uh, hedge cutter on again today and it is still really wet it is saturday today it is the 24th of february and uh, yeah so we've i've done a bit of hedge guy did some yesterday and did some a few weeks back but the, oh, the ground is so wet it's uh, not ideal the tractor is a bit dirty and yeah i was hoping to finish cutting round the farm but uh, we're not gonna get that done now 
just cutting road edges really it's too wet to go in fields so uh, we're gonna have to forget that and finish it off back or finish it off in the autumn just what i'm looking at here a minute now is the flails and uh, i was just thinking might run the grinder over them just to sharpen them up a bit one there with a nasty chunk out of it but uh, yeah they've still got life in them but uh, just need to sharpen them up a bit I think so uh, let's have a go at that and see what we can do right I've done a few got my safety glasses on and my uh, welding gloves and uh, yeah I've done a few just just put a bit of edge on them not gone like too crazy but uh, some are, yeah, we'll need a new set of flails, I suppose, at some point, but uh, hopefully, um, just by just putting a bit of an edge on them, I uh, mostly cut with the rotor going that way, and then uh, it doesn't throw so much stuff at the tractor, but it doesn't do as neat a job as cutting that way, but the trouble is if it's cutting that way, everything's flying out the front of the head and uh, flying towards the tractor so i'm uh, not quite so keen on that so as i say mostly i cut with the rotor going that way but uh, like for cutting grass and stuff on verges always have it sort of going that way like throwing it out forwards underneath rather than around there so yeah so i'll set the camera for a minute and uh, just film sharpening one up I've got a new flail there just to compare because uh, we had half a set came with the hedge trimmer when we bought it because it was um, we bought it as a demonstrator as a demonstrator and they, they came here and demonstrated it and put it on the tractor and the chap demonstrating it hit a stone and he said oh, I'll give you if you buy this demonstrator I'll give half a set of flails with it so that's what we did at the time that was back in 2004 I think and uh, yeah so that's that's a new flail so they um, have worn a bit but there still is life in them I think if I just sort of sharpen them up they'll probably go get go yet for a few years so uh, reach yeah. around a minute got it uh, all spread out so I can reach the ones up in the middle there and uh, up over Right, all done, let's go and cut some hedges. So I've been cutting some road hedges, I've done lane down that way, lane up that way, and then sort of one down that way past the tractor. So another road at the top end of the farm I've done, and then there's it's the main road the council have done some of that so we don't need to go on there and the traffic is like crazy on the main road so we won't be doing that anyway and uh, So just on the last little piece now of the road hedges and uh, that'll be it until the autumn. Just have to make a bit of an effort next year to try and um, 
do a bit more through the autumn really because uh, just haven't been able to get on and do it this year because of the wet weather and time it's just really but here's what it is the fielding over the hedge is uh, one of the herbal lay fields and uh, I didn't get a chance to cut it before we drilled the grass seeds out because we were all ready to drill the seeds before the uh, end of August
at the bottom of this road and when it's raining heavily the water just washes down this road like it's like a flood going down this road if it rains heavily and the amount of rain we get so it washes all the plastic and rubbish down the river and then uh, it's probably quite a mile and then it's actually probably not even that far down the river and then it's uh, right out on the beach and into the sea Really. And everyone's meant to be like more aware of all this sort of stuff now, but I would say like the amount of litter here in the last couple of years is probably the worst I've ever seen. Well, the flail's been sharpened and have definitely made an improvement, it's kind of cleaner. I'll have to keep on top of that a bit and uh, make sure I do that time to time. Yeah, there, I'll just take the camera down a bit. There's some fly tip in there that I don't know what it is, like a, some sort of like seat or something and there's something plastic in there garden waste we get chucked out in the gateways bit more to do and that is it so uh, that will definitely be my last hedge trimming video because uh, we're out of time next Friday it's the 1st of March so I don't think we're going to get any more done between now and then anyway and it's too wet so, so that will be it and uh, as I say we'll just have to have and try and have a better go in the autumn and uh, get a bit more done really because uh, there's quite a lot I haven't done this year that I wanted to get done but I'll say it's just too wet we're just going to make a real mess if we go and try and do it now so, so that's that so I'll try and put something on um, the Farmer Cornwall Facebook page I haven't done that yet I've got it all something well got it set up and that's about it so I'll try and put some pictures on and uh, Right, so we'll leave it there. Thanks for subscribing and liking the videos and I'll be back with another video soon.